guys welcome back to another video i realize it's not been that long since the last one but i just received i just received something in the mail that i'm very excited to try and show you and review and unbox and all that shenanigans um so let's just dive right in this is not the follow-up video that i said i would do either of legoland or thought park I will do those another day. Jeez, it seems like my diary is getting really busy with vlogs to shoot and I should probably write all this down because I thought I had done Legoland, which I've obviously not. So I want to do that as well. So some sort of vlog diary needs to be happening. But what I received this morning and I ordered Monday, I want to say. So it's been two days. It's from the awesome people at Tea and the Gang. Tea in the game. Uh, I'm already impressed, right? So Facebook, I think, is not a lot for much. Not a lot, not a lot of good for much nowadays. Um, seems like the, it's given people a voice that maybe shouldn't have one. And uh, it's given people a platform to unleash their opinions when people don't want them. Or uh, they're just generally being nasty. So I'm not really a fan of Facebook that much anymore, but however, what it does do, if you're looking for, say I typed into Amazon peppermint tea, it starts throwing these guys up as a suggestion on my Facebook page, which is creepy, but also at the same time, very, very useful. So they cropped up and uh, I read some reviews and I had a little look at their store and I bought some. So. All in all, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there's 11 orders, essentially. Um, three pouches, which hold, give or take, 16 servings per pouch. And then uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 tea bags of individual proportion so that I can try it. And if I like it, I'll order a bigger bigger batch so that's it those are these guys tea in the game um i'm just going to show you what i got basically it came to roughly 19 pounds which i think i don't think is too bad uh when you look at the price of things in like your high chain supermarkets uh tea is not that cheap especially when you need a decaf or maybe a herbal version like me um it's not that cheap um so you're lucky to get a deal but these tea bags individually were 80p. And I don't think that's that bad. If you go into like an event or you end up at like a concert or a castle, for example, or a theme park, uh, tea generally is like £2.30 and all they've got is a tea bag and some hot water, yet they overcharge your ass for tea. So I don't think 80p for one tea bag is extortionate. I think it's actually quite good. But I'm very excited. The packaging on these guys are absolutely incredible. So they've all got names, which I find awesome. This one's called the Explorer, right there. She looks pretty um explorational. Uh, it's lemon and ginger, which is really, really good for your stomach. Uh, especially really, really good for me. Uh, I do like a bit of ginger when I'm not feeling 100%, which at the moment is more often than not. Uh, it's a blend for those hankering for a break from the norm. Taking exotic lemon and ginger flavours that will take you on a journey to remember. And there is everything you need to know. Uh, so they want 100 degrees centigrade water. Three minutes to steep. Fancy tea word there. Uh, store in a cool dry place. And right there it says caffeine free. I don't think it's going to focus. But that's fine because it's just a phone. Um... Their address, sell by date, everything is on the back of this little packet. And I think that packaging is awesome. Um, so yeah, 80p for a tea bag. I don't think that's that bad. So, first one, the Explorer, lemon and ginger. Secondly, the nurse. I think that tells you everything you need to know. Lemon and honey. So this is for obviously if you're feeling a little bit snotty, a little bit fluey. I don't want to go into the pandemic, but maybe if you've got that going on too, you're not feeling great, uh, they probably recommend that you get the nurse out. Uh, for those who are in need of tender loving care, it's a rubus tea, uh, which is also caffeine free. Good rubus. 
uh, lemon, lemongrass, lemon peel, chamomile. It just sounds like a big hug in a cup, and I'm very excited to try this one. I love me some lemon and honey tea. Um, yeah, 80p for the tea bag. Perfect. The Soul Man. Now this one just sounds banging. I mean, look at these. Look at these. These are just next level packaging. Uh, vibrant blueberries and elderberries festooned with cornflowers and mellow flowers. The blues never tasted so good and neither did their packaging. I think that's just awesome. This one's blueberry blues. Uh, it's got apple, hibiscus, rosehip, elderberries, blueberries, orange peel and of course it's caffeine free of course because it's me and I'm broken and I can't drink caffeine because it hurts my stomach, gives me a massive stomach ache. It's just not worth it. So I drink caffeine free and these were a, a find. I'm so happy that I found these guys. Uh, this one is called Miss Arctic. Obviously this is a peppermint tea. Uh, obviously caffeine free. Most peppermint teas are. Uh, we've created a classic blend that is refreshing and healthy, calming for your stomach and smooth in taste. It's a blend that is spectacular just like the Northern Lights. I see what they did there. Very clever. Uh, yep, yeah, those are instructions again. These are just, oh, they're so good. I mean, I've not tried them, so it might be shit to taste, but I can't smell nothing. So nothing's coming through the, the packet, so I don't really want to open it just to smell it. Well, you can't smell it. You can only see it. Um, so again, three minutes to brew, 100 degrees centigrade water, and that's it. And that's tea bag number four now for some reason on their website it said free tea so i clicked on it i like i want free tea and basically the catch was all you had to do was pay for posters and packaging now since i was going to be buying a few other things i clicked on that free tea they sent me four tea bags for free for the postage but i was paying postage anyway so free tea this one Cool Caribbean Mango and Pineapple Oolong 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 Tea. Uh, this one does contain caffeine, but um, I'll either give it a bash or a sip and we'll figure out how much caffeine is in it. Uh, otherwise, I'll just distribute to the uh, the right people that can uh, that can take caffeine. Uh, transport yourself to a tropical paradise with this tantalising blend of mango and pineapple. It just sounds lovely. Uh, and I'll be gutted if I can't drink it. But um, I'm definitely willing to try it. I just absolutely love the packaging that they've got going on here. It's just incredible. Um, the next one, the butler. Obviously, we all know what this is. This is your English Earl Grey tea. Obviously. It's black tea, so I will not be able to drink this period there is no even trying it this will definitely give me gut ache Sri Lankan black tea is going to be strong so I won't be able to as nice as it's probably going to be I'm not going to be able to try it but the traditional blend will reliably meet your every need refined Ceylon 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 black tea works perfectly together with bright bergamot lime leaves and elegant sunflower petals now I wish I could drink caffeine because teas like this will be absolutely amazing whether you like them black or with milk. But I was dealt the hand I'm dealt and I just have to live with it and I just won't be able to drink it. Um, but I'll smell it and I'm sure it'll smell amazing. Uh, this one also contains caffeine. This is the Viking, obviously. Uh, this is licorice digestive. Uh, it's worthy of Thor himself, rich, earthy. Tea blended with licorice, cinnamon, cardamom, aniseed, and fennel. It's been used for boosting metabolism and aiding digestion. So probably pretty good after a heavy meal or just dinner in general. Uh, it does contain caffeine. So it says right there, contains caffeine. Uh, but this one, this one might be okay. It's only 28% of the black tea that's in there. Uh, the rest of it is licorice, cinnamon, aniseed, fennel, and cardamom. So... This one might be okay. I might be able to try this one. But at the end of the day, if it's free and I can't, I can't grumble. Uh, you don't get to choose which teas are free. That's the whole point of it. They're just going to send you four of their either best-selling or four of the ones you haven't pre-ordered. Remember, I haven't ordered any of these teas because they don't contain caffeine. 
So it's not like they've looked at what I've ordered and grabbed four of the same tea bags just to cop out and give me free tea that I've already paid for. They've gone and got four teas that I haven't ordered. So, you know. This one, the hipster. Here we have a herbal, a raspberry and mint herbal tea. Caffeine free. Hallelujah. Uh, it's a bohemian blend made for trendsetters and trailblazers. Probably not. A cool mix of stimulating mint, luxuriant berry pieces, along with rosehip, orange peel, and raspberry leaves. Sounds amazing. Very excited to try the hipster. Um, yeah, one premium herbal tea bag. This is just this packaging. It's just I'd love to see what a box looks like. You probably don't sell in shops because they've no need. But um, I bet the box of tea looks epic. So to bring me on to my final products, the ones that I'm probably most actually we'll leave them till last this one was limited edition obviously you can see the hat she's wearing it's a christmas blend uh it was on offer i believe because i'd completely missed it uh i believe it was cheap at two pound something um excuse me i got a yule. i got a very early for work today early number three of three so i'm shattered and i need to snooze but I was very excited to get this video done and get it out and seen so that you all can go and try your own teas and then let me know how you get on. So this is called Santa's Babe and it's a pepper cack rooibos tea. So again, it's caffeine free, uh, ginger, cinnamon, black peppercorns, cloves, cardamom, sunflower petals, vanilla pieces and flavour. Whatever that flavour means. Um, but this is obviously loose leaf, loose leaf tea. It is not in a bag. So, um, this will need to be brewed either in a teapot or in one of those little infusers. I seem to have loads of those after ordering with pre-tea. Um, and I got one from the other tea company that I order with. Uh, I can't remember their name. I made a video about those guys too. Um, so I'm very excited to try this. This might be sort of a bedtime kind of brew. Uh, for me, with the cinnamon, the, the ginger, the cardamom, it sounds like it's going to be very warming. Maybe after a cold day out, or um, I don't know, maybe even now after a, a shift at work and I'm tired and I just want a bit of a hug. Um, and then, something that seems so, so cool to me. They do this like neon drink powder, neon powder, neon drink thing. Um... We recommend the following recipe, but feel free to get creative. I mean, yeah, let's do this. Uh, scoop 1.5 grams of powder into a mug. Adjust the quantity depending on the size of your mug. Sweeten with a squeeze of honey or sweetener, whatever you choose. Add a splash of boiling hot water and whisk or stir until the powder is fully dissolved. Top up with steamed or cold milk of your choice so you can have it iced or hot. And for cold brews, just add ice, ice, baby. Oh sassy pants uh so i didn't buy the red one funnily enough because that to me means beetroot whether it's got beetroot in it or not i don't know why it's pink maybe i need to have a look online and check why it's pink but i obviously bought the blue one you know i'm all about the blue blue turquoise this kind of yeah i'm all about blue so i wanted to try a blue latte because what could be better than anything blue double d double die um so this one's called the voyager it's a powder latte signature drink. Now these are more expensive. I don't think it tells me the prices on my little invoice. Uh, I think, I don't know, 25 grams. It says 16 servings. I think it was about two pound, maybe maybe a bit more. It's peppermint, it's called minty blue. Uh, yeah, peppermint with flowers and peas and stuff in it. Um, not tried it yet, obviously, it's just come. There's my seal. So I'm very excited to maybe try and make this on camera so you guys can see what it looks like. But I think it's going to be pretty awesome. And if you follow these guys on Facebook, I will link their website in the description. They have pictures of what their lattes look like a lot like this. But just imagine that blue. Um, so I got very excited about that. And then when I saw this, which was what I went on looking for in the first place and found all these other tea bags, I found the Guru. Now the Guru is turmeric. And turmeric is very, very good for your stomach. Now, it has healing properties. It's good for your immune system. It's fantastic for your stomach. 
turmeric needs more consumption, especially by people like me. Um, so again, this is yellow, the signature powder latte drink thing. Um, has turmeric, chicory root and natural flavouring. Again, you just add water or cold milk for a latte and it's supposed to come up looking like that. So, long dates on all of them, 2022. I should be able to get through a pouch of 16 servings by 2022. If not, something's gone seriously wrong and I'm just drinking water. So that's it. That's the order. It's pretty big. It's taken 15 minutes to shoot this video. So... Uh, yeah, I can't complain at all. You've got the these three pouches, then you've got the eight tea bags, nineteen pounds. Not too bad at all. You cannot, 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 cannot complain at that price. Uh, and obviously, some of it is postage anyway. I think one ninety five was postage. So you look at sixteen pounds, seventeen pounds for all of this tea. That's a lot of servings. So there's eight tea bags, and then sixteen, sixteen, and twenty five. You do the math. I literally can't. Um, it came through the letterbox in a padded envelope. Um, and it said in the corner, tea and the gang, so you know exactly where it's come from. That's why I got very excited when I ran down to my door. I found this lying on the floor. Very quick postage. Like I said, I ordered it on Monday while my girlfriend was in the doctor's. And I start ordering stuff when she's not around. I need her to tell me to stop. So there's Amazon Prime on right now. So I'm probably going to head over to that. I should be sleeping because I need to catch up on some Zeds. But I can't. I just I want to drink all of this and I want to drink it now. But that wouldn't be a good idea for me. So that's it. That's T and the gang. I'm going to pop their uh, all their links in the description. Go and check them out. It's companies like these that we need to look after. The smaller companies, all your Tetleys, all your Yorkshire Teas, all of your brands will survive all of this. We need to think outside the box. We need to get our little companies booming. Um, they're from Cape, they're in Cambridge. So they're local teas. And I think what they're doing is awesome. And I can't wait to try them. So give them a follow on Facebook. They're probably on Instagram. Uh, I don't have any cards or anything like that to tell me otherwise. Uh, I'm going to search them down. Pop all their links in the description. Give them a follow. Go and buy some tea. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you buy. Let me know what it tastes like. So that... If it's good and it's decaf, I can go try it too on your recommendation. And uh, and keep just staying hydrated, guys. Keep healthy, stay well, and I'll see you in the next